Sir, can you please round up my grade to an A? You got 55%. So you can or can't? I'll tell you what, I can round all your grades up to this. I am a victim of a hate crime. Stanley knows what I'm talking about. That's not what a hate crime is. Well, I hated it. You hate it because you didn't do it. I had a busy schedule, okay? Doing what? Well, four o'clock, wallow in self-pity. 4.30, stare into the abyss. 7 o'clock, wrestle with my self-loathing. I'm booked. Uh... Of course, if I want the loathing to nine, I could still be done in time to lay in bed, stare at the ceiling, and slip slowly into madness. Seems legit. If I can get them depressed, then I'll have done my job. <sighs> Ryan, why aren't you studying? All you ever do is watch TV. I never see you studying. This is why you're only getting A's and not A pluses. <sighs> okay, I'm going. My life be like. Uh, yeah. My life be like. <laughs> ah, freaking paper cut. Ah. Mom, do you have a band-aid? Ryan, what are you doing? You're staying too close to the edge. You're gonna fall. Why is the stupid coffin machine not making my stupid coffin? Oh, honey, don't worry. I'll buy you a new coffee machine right now that'll make the best coffee you've ever had. Hurry up! Son, can you shine the flashlight for me and hand me the wrench? Here you go, Dad. What's wrong, Dad? You are accused of treason and anti-Soviet behavior. The court finds you guilty and sentenced you to be shot. Dad, a girl just asked me out today. Are you serious? Yep. My man. Hey, Dad, so a cute guy asked me out today. Oh, is that so? Dad, what are you doing? Just getting ready for work. Oh, so I, I don't know what to say to him. He's just so cute. And he also tried to hold my hand today. Well, you remember what I taught you, right? Mm-hmm. If they try that, snap their fingers, right? That's my girl. Thanks, Dad. Love you. Time to go to work, baby. Mom, he won't stop touching me! Mm -mm, I'm not touching you. Hey, that's the chair I wanted to sit on. Well, <laughs> it's mine now. Mom, he's looking at me all weird. Dad, he's breathing my air. Dad, he's breathing my air. Now he's copying me! Now he's copying me. Dad! Dad. Mom, he keeps looking out my window! Ah, get off! It's my turn to push the button! No, no! Don't touch me with your foot. My foot's touching your chair! But the chair is touching me! You're touching something that's touching me! Fine! You're still touching it! No, I'm not! With your toe! Freaking barely! Mom, he's touching something that's touching me! He's not letting my toe do what it wants! Hey, dude, check this out. I found a new method to figure out this math problem. New ideas are fine but they are also illegal. All right, pop quiz. So preparation questions for the exam. Gregory, if you're skiing through the Amazon and your jetpack runs out of apple juice, what should you have on your head? Uh, a pterodactyl, because bubble gum makes bubbles. Correct. Sam, if you're swimming on Mount Everest and your duck eats a ukulele, what should you have under your big toe? A pizza, so you can tiptoe to the moon to buy shoelaces for your dinosaur. Precisely! You all seem to be good and ready for the exam. Now, let's move on. Boys, listen, I know we haven't seen eye to eye. Yeah, Billy's invisibility should come in real handy here. Hey! I am done being persecuted for my strength. Listen! Whatever comes out of these gates, we've got a better chance of survival if we work together. Do you understand? We're with you. Certainty of death, small chance of success. What are we waiting for? Oh, your what? Please save my life. I'm out! No, 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 wait! It's all you, bro. You got this! Jimmy? It's all here, Mom. They broke the TV. Jimmy, you told her! Hold up. You used chem scanner to scan and report her confession? Where'd you even get that? Just looking out for number one. What do you mean? You're not even the one in danger! Dang. Billy actually got away scot-free. Oh, Billy? I saw him in the driveway. Which way did he go? Well... Occasionally I'll hit somebody with my car. So sue me. You can't be serious. You stayed up till 9 p.m.? Best believe it. That's pretty impressive, dude. Yeah, hats off to you. My mom would never let me do that. Dude, where were you yesterday? Did you bunk class? No, my mom let me stay home so we could have a long weekend. You, sir, are the MVP. You are why we invented class presidents. Hey, dude, 
I had a sleepover at Jason's house yesterday. It was awesome. Hold up. Yesterday was a Tuesday. Yeah? What's your point? You had a sleepover on a school night? How did you pull that off? Sometimes my genius, it generates gravity. This just in. I slept last night. I had a beard. Great Odin's raven. How, how can this be? Eight full hours. Knights of Columbus. Gabe. Uh, yes, sir? Is it possible to learn this power? So, everyone knows the definition of photosynthesis, right? Yes, sir. But sir, in reality, plants are actually farming us. Enlighten me. Well, by giving us oxygen daily until we all eventually decompose so they can consume us. Well... Hmm. Dude, what have you done to our teacher? Sometimes I'll start a sentence. And I don't even know where it's going. I just hope I find it along the way. Good morning, class. I'll be your substitute for the next four years. And your teacher, Mr. Johnson, said to give each of you separate 10-page essay assignments every day, followed by three pop quizzes and a daily four-hour presentation in front of the whole school. Because he said, and I quote, I don't need sleep. I need answers. That didn't go the way you thought it would. Nope. Oh, these students are a nightmare. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? You're a teacher. Wait. You're the new substitute teacher. Yeah, I arrived this morning. So it's your first day here and you've never taught a class before. Yeah, but I mean, how hard could it be? <laughs> Go ahead, take my class for the day. Oh, thank you. Uh, you sure? You're gonna die. What? I said you'll do great. Down the hall there. See you later. Good morning, class. Stop eating my pencil! Who are you? Where did you come from? All right. Another one for us to beat down. Dude, don't even. Stacy's five foot tall and she kicked your butt yesterday and bent you like a pretzel at the jungle gym. Give this new one a break, guys. He looks smart, and we're grateful to have you to teach us, sir. Thank you. Now, uh... Pop quiz! And also a 5,000 word essay due tomorrow morning. <laughs> sir? Sir? You raise your hand if you want to ask a question, boy. Sir? No talking in my class. But you just said... What do you want? Why is it so cold at the top of a mountain? Seconds of my life. I've never been more wasted than listening to you ask questions. Because the top of a mountain is actually closer to the sun. So why would it be cold? I think the school needs to give your parents a refund. Well, did you know that a frog can jump higher than an Eiffel Tower? Really? That's because an Eiffel Tower cannot jump. I'll trump that. You know dinosaurs can't eat fish even if they wanted to? Why not? Because they're dead. Well, you know the world-famous actor The Rock isn't actually a rock. No kidding, Sherlock. Obviously, you moron. I'm failing as a teacher. All right, son. Since you got straight A's this semester, here's 50 bucks. Well done, champ. Ryan, you've been watching way too much TV lately. That's my TV. Go read something. Modern problems require modern solutions. Dude, just read a book. You're adopted. You have no say. And you expect me to believe that? What do I look like? I look like an idiot. I don't care what you believe. Everybody just calm down. Get him off my land. Let me tell you something, man. You're the trial run kid. I'm you, 2.0. New and improved. What does that make me? The one that made them lose hope and gave up trying. Says the adopted one. I'm not! Dad, am I adopted? Of course not. Why would I pick you? <laughs> Twice the pride, double the fall. Ryan, where's my phone? I don't know. Why should I care? The phones aren't letting me play games on it anymore. Fix it! Ah! Billy, take my phone, call customer service, and fix your phone so Jimmy can play. Ah. Fine! Customer service. Hi, my phone won't let me do- Customer service. Hello? Can you hear me? What seems to be the problem, sir? My phone won't let me open any gaming apps. And why should I care? It's your job. My job to do what? To care. You're called customer care! Sir, we're called customer service, not customer care. We don't care. Please, calm down, sir. I am calm. You just seem to need help figuring out- Help with what, sir? To know what your job is! <clears throat> Please hold. Please remain on the line as we value your call.
All right, sir. Thank you for waiting, but I'm afraid there's nothing we can do. Now, could you please rate my service from 1 to 10? Dude, mm. you know your handwriting is your hand's accent. So your hand is cartoony? Ryan, principal, now. What? Why? I did my homework this time. Wait, where is it? He's probably just proud he can spell his name right this time. For your information, fart for brains, I used question AI to get all the answers. D don't you call that cheating? <laughs> sir, sir, he cheated! Shut it! First off, I did not cheat. I used question AI to take a photo of the homework and then I get all the answers in just a few seconds with step-by-step -step explanations. You can do the same with it for anything you get in a textbook or a test. So let me get this straight. Basically memorizing something is cheating. What? You ignored everything I just said. No, no, hear me out. You knew the answer before the test was given. So by saying you gained the knowledge before the test to use on the test is cheating. Yes! You could also say if you don't know the questions in the test, how do you know which answers will be right? I'm surrounded by idiots. Miss Jacobs, your son is exhibiting bad behavior. And he exhibits bad behavior at home too. But do I ever call you? Boys, I gotta head out. So your mom's gonna be coming around to see if you clean your rooms. Doesn't matter, because I'm going to take a nap. Since when do we clean our rooms? You don't count. Ouch. You don't have a room. I'm sitting in it right now! Calm down. She won't do anything to you guys. Really? Well, maybe you should look in the smart part of your brain. Is this room clean? Yeah, yeah, mama. I've been to your room. If I were you, I'd shut my mouth right now and let the military officer take you away peacefully in 30 minutes. What? Billy, you pathetic You, You actually cleaned your room? You're the only trash left. See? That's why I don't clean my room. To blend in. Mom, can I get something to eat? You ate two hours ago. Exactly. I ate a whole two hours ago. Hey, I'm expected to do everything around here and I haven't eaten in two days. I'm not expected to do anything. Sweet deal, ain't it? You guys are getting fed? Billy, nobody expects you. Yeah, bud, you're out of luck there. I love democracy. You're wrong, Jimmy. Mom and Dad love us all equally. Billy. They don't mean to have favorites. Billy. You guys just need help to understand. Maybe if I act better, I'll become the favorite. Yeah. You'll see. Jimmy, you better start getting your act together. This is the third test you failed. Horribly. What about question five? That counted the most points, and I know I got that one right. You mean the question, who was the first president of the United States? Yeah, that one. I said our good old boy George. Clooney. You said George Clooney! Well, didn't he play president that Get one out! <sighs> Honey, I made you a sandwich so you can eat while you go study. Study? Yeah, the algebra test that counts for 80% of your final grade that you've been studying so hard for. Yeah. Mom, Ryan was in my class a few years ago, right? Yeah, but you'll do way better. Hey, numb nuts, mom, butch. What are you stealing mom. from me now? I need this to study, and Ryan won't let me have it. Mom, that's my old test paper. Ryan, for once, be useful in this house and let. Fine. You, you know what? Keep it here. Uh, this is old and wrinkled. I'll send you a picture of it, so you don't have to struggle while you study. All right. Here you go, Jimmy. Another one. My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to bear to die. My eyes! Ryan, clean this eraser outside. All right, sir. Ryan, get off your lazy butt and go tell Jimmy I made him his favorite meal. All right. Mom, what about me? I haven't eaten in three days. And? Uh. Jimmy, Mom made you a sandwich. What are you guys doing? We're playing some Call of Duty. But Justin's blind. How are you? What guy should I be? How does he know what- Oh, I'm gonna be this guy. I haven't turned the PlayStation on yet. He can't see! Why would you play- He's fine. He can hear everything. I got sniped. Justin, the TV isn't even on yet. You guys have food? Who's that? Oh, it's Billy. Get out of here! You're throwing me off my game. The nerve of this kid. Get lost, Billy! Billy. Fine, I'm going. Oh, do you see that explosion? Did you? F what? I died. Mom, I'm hungry. There's nothing to eat. What are you talking about? There's more than enough food. Stop acting so spoiled. Ryan, come on, dinner's ready.
These are my kids. My kids don't fight like little Teletubbies. Dude, you should have seen it. There were like 10 fights in the hallway yesterday. 10? It was way more than that. It was an all-out brawl. Are you serious? Freaking Royal Rumble, my dude. That's nothing. Tell him what happened after that. Wh why? What happened after that? Well, the principal saw that, and he was so proud of all of us being proactive that he took the entire school on a trip to Disney World. In Paris. You're kidding. And we ran into Elon Musk and went on rides with him all day, and he gave us all first-class tickets back. But dude, when we got back, Wow. What? What? Elvis Presley, Bob Marley, and Michael Jackson all came back to life for one day to perform in the cafeteria like the world has never seen before. Yes, seriously. My life has peaked. And to top it all off... How the heck is there more? You know that teacher that no one likes? She said that for every student that was in class yesterday will get a guaranteed A in the final. But that's like six months from now. Exactly. And after all that, you're the only one that wasn't here. You missed out, dude. Sir? No, you can't go to the bathroom. This is science class, right? Oh, is it? I didn't notice. Why are wet clothes darker even though water has no color? Because mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell! I mean, water is transparent, so... Your brain is transparent. Why does it make the color of a cloth darker? Ryan, here's a question. Science project. Due tomorrow. You done? Right. The project. The project for tomorrow. The project specifically required for tomorrow. Tomorrow's project. The tomorrow project. That project? I hate so much about the things that you choose to be. That was the hint! Get out! Sorry, oh, okay. Our list of allies grows thin. Now class, what is the answer to this main I know this biologic? This is useless here. Years of academy training wasted. Class, we're starting in five minutes. Remember to answer all the questions. No exceptions. Listen up, before we begin, note there are 10 questions, but you're only required to answer five questions. Everyone, this paper is multiple choice. All you have to do is choose A, B, C, or D for each question from the answers we give you. Cut the C and D. Only answer A and B. So, in short, your chances of passing this exam is 50-50. This is a reading exam, so just start reading. All right, we'll be starting any minute now. Eat. Sleep, cheat, I don't care, I can't stop you. Half of you is sitting there in your underwear anyway. Good luck. Dude, can I blow your mind? Instead of letting me finish the work we're supposed to be doing? Yes. Trust me on this one. You don't want to know. Johnny? Don't tell it. You shouldn't have told me, but you did. And now I'm telling you, you don't want to know. Now I'm intrigued. People singing happy birthday to you is like an unskippable ad in real life. Alright class, did you have any homework for today? Oh, I forgot. Oh yeah. He did. W what class is this? Was it really for today? He's a kid, right? Yes, sir. We actually had quite a lot to do. Boy, everyone is stupid except me. Okay, now before I go around and collect your homework, pop quiz! Matthew, what's the answer? I don't know. Did you break it down? Oh, dang. My bad. He's my protege, sir. Ryan, wake up! <laughs> School is not a place to sleep! Well, then home is not a place to study. Jonathan, stop eating in my class! Dude, didn't you have breakfast this morning? No, but I didn't have time for my second breakfast. Jonathan! First eating, then talking. Now talking while you're eating. Since you've got so much to say, name ten elements on the periodic table. Second breakfast. Can I just say that of all the idiots, in all the idiot villages, in all the idiot worlds, you stand alone, my friend. Fine, I'll come write it on the board if you don't believe me. Second breakfast. 
He is officially the smartest kid in the world. His mind is greater than all of ours combined. His brain power transcends time and space. Should we tell him? Absolutely not. It's not possible. Sometimes my genius is... It's almost frightening. I finally finished it! What? This 50 piece puzzle! It says seven plus years, but I finished it in less than four! So you took- Am I not the king?! So you took just under 10 months to get only 10 pieces every time? No, I did three pieces in five months and 12 pieces in 12 months. Why is my math not mathing? I think your brain's not braining, as always. Ryan, it's Mother's Day, so where are you taking me out to eat? Well, like you always say, Mom. Get ready, everybody. He's about to do something stupid. We have food at home? Say that again. Not dare! I double dare you! Come on! We have food at home. Wait, what? Remember me. No, come on, Billy, come on. Remember that time I gave you that cookie? Remember? Remember? No. Eric, pronounce this. 1999. Jonathan? Uh, uh 1888. Brian? 11, 11, 11. No. Gerald? 11, 181. Martin? 11, 11, 11. Matthew? One to the power of four? All right, let's just move on. Uh, hopefully your homework won't give me this much of a headache. Homework? Yes, didn't you do... Did any of you do your homework? I did, sir. You don't count, you suck up. Eric, did you do your homework? I forgot. Jonathan? I didn't know there was homework. Ryan? Uh, my dog ate my homework, sir. Matthew? Uh, my, my dog forgot to do my homework. Martin? My cat ate my homework, and then my science project ate my cat. Gregory? I did it. Oh, thank you. But my brother put it on eBay, and I... I tried to get it back, but I wasn't the highest bidder. I'm surrounded by idiots. This is it's freezing in here. Are you kidding me? Hello? Uh, excuse me? Are you my son's teacher? I am a teacher. Who's your son? Jimmy. Jimmy Parker. Oh yeah, that thing. You gave my son detention for not doing his homework. <sighs> got that right. My son would never do something like that. That's why he got detention, Madam Karen. Excuse me? Dang. About time someone said it. My son always does his homework. You sure about that? He told me he's a straight A student. You sure about that? I help him study every night. Ah, uh, that explains it. Explains what? Why your son's a moron! <gasps> he slacks off, never does his work, he's a failure! <gasps> Excuse me, I, I think the word you're searching for is Space Ranger. I'll have your job for saying that! Where's your principal? Get up! You got things to do, people to meet, food to eat, and butts to kick. Oi! What? You wanna sleep tonight? Get to work. May I offer quite a delectable selection of your worst memories from the past 10 years? No, please. Don't do this. Ah, it's rewind time. Hey, stop copying my work. Come on, sharing is caring. Does it look like I care right now? Actually, no. Do you want to talk about it? Turn the other way before I stab you with my pen. Well, aggressive. You should talk to someone about that. I'll show you aggressive. Right. No talking during the test. Sir, he's trying to copy my work. I don't care what you were talking about. Just stop talking! I have to say, this is the first time I've seen two people equally fail this pathetically! Nice going, you moron. Brain not braining. Study not studying. Sleep not sleeping. Money not moneying. Nobody loving. Everybody hating. Mouth always eating. Eyes always watering. Nothing understanding. Heck, the what happening? Mom, you're not gonna believe this, but I got an A on my math test. You just wait till your dad gets home. Pathetic!